From Relativity to Quantum Mechanics, The Fine Structure Journey In this problem, we're tasked with deriving the fine structure formula from the relativistic correction and the spin-orbit coupling. Hint, note that J, which if you recall was equal to the sum of angular momenta, is equal to L plus or minus a half, except for L equals zero, where only the plus sign occurs. Treat the plus sign and the negative sign or minus sign separately and you'll find that you get the same final answer either way. So this is setting up to be a really fun problem. Why do we care? Well, hydrogen is more spectacular than we first thought. In fact, Paul Dirac, Feynman, and others thought that our original assumptions were not just enough. Especially when we talk about the addition of a magnetic field, things get really crazy. So we have to take into careful consideration all factors. But in this problem, we're tasked with two correction terms here, relativistic and spin orbit coupling. So the challenge for you is what other correction is needed? Think about that as we move through this. And it's probably going to be evident to you once we actually get to it, but be aware there is another layer to this that we're gonna need. That being said, don't forget about the PDF. There, it's free companion for you to follow along. Although in this particular problem, you probably don't need it because it's just a lot of algebra and simplifying. And it's all pretty straightforward. But if you find value in this content, you can have a direct impact on its success by liking, subscribing, sharing with a friend, or donating through Buy Me A Coffee. No account required. So without further ado, let's dive in. Okay. So in stop one, if we are to heed the advice of the question, it would make sense for us to start with the plus sign. Now, if we notice here, we have to be careful because they give us the formula for J as a function of L. But in all our formulas, we're given that L is the value that we need to input. So by solving for L, keeping it in terms of J, we're good to go. So let's start off here by recognizing that both of these, E1R and ESO R, and then ESO1, are both first order corrections. And just walking through this, you're gonna see first order is pretty much all we need. Second and third order, they get crazy. So we'll wait for that in a higher level class. But what we see here in blue is equation 7.58, which is the relativistic correction, okay? And what we see in purple is the L value that we need to sub in. Of course, we have the Bohr energy, 2mc squared, the speed of light, minus sign. So we have a lot of corrections that need to be taken into account for. But if we plug in this value for j minus 1 half, we quickly see the simplification that occurs, the 1 halves cancel, and we get the general form that we see here. Not that bad. However, the spin orbit coupling of equation 7.67 is a little more to deal with because we had L's and J's everywhere. So aside from the Bohr energy squared over MC squared, you know, the uh, relativistic energy and all that other fun stuff, we have a lot to simplify here. Starting with the plugging in of J minus one half in the bracket out front and J minus one half in the parentheses to start with, okay? Down below, we had L times L times L, and so we have three factors of J in the bottom to contend with. That being said, this L value goes to J minus one half. We cancel out the one halves from plugging in that J minus one half, and now we just need to simplify the negative one half here with the one here. Similarly here, we're good to go. So let's see what happens when we do that. All right. So focusing on simplifying the curly brackets, we see here that up top, J minus one half stays put. Then we're left with J plus one half after the minus one half plus one is simplified. Similarly down below, plus uh, one minus one half down below here gets a plus one half. And now we're pretty much simplified from just subbing in. From that, we see that we need to distrib distribute this J minus one half into this parenthesis here. And that leads us to j squared plus one half j minus one half j minus one half times one half. So clearly, as you see, cancel the middle terms, makes sense. 
we have a factored form here with plus or minus good to go there um and then you see that we can now dump in this negative sign right we can dump in the negative sign to all the terms that remain and we see here that when we do that we get a j squared from right here right there plus j then minus j squared so the squares cancel we love that the minus and the minus here make a positive and of course one half times one half is a one fourth so we're good to go now you might be tempted like i was initially to distribute down in the denominator but that makes a lot more work so why do that when we see that this numerator cleans up pretty well let's do one more round of simplifying before we uh, tidy up this first order correction and then we'll get to the total correction okay so we saw that with that um negative or the um plus one half and a minus three fourths this simplifies to the two fourths or the one fourth yeah excuse me and so the negative two fourths is equivalent to negative one half and so that factor and that factor cancel leaving us with something actually pretty clean n over j plus times j plus one half not bad again a lot of algebra but nothing too horrendous this leads us to the total correction stated by equation 7.68 so the fine structure subscript all in the first order the ones tell us were first order is the relativistic first order plus the spin orbit coupling first order so now that we have these simplified we just need to add them together here we see that the um both terms have this kind of uh energy term that can be factored out but in order to do so we see that in the green case we're missing the two here so what we do is we input the two by multiplying by one one looks weird here because it's two over two but that's algebraically okay from there we can factor that out and we see that we can simplify the uh, j and n terms and that'll be nice all right so successfully factoring this uh purple monster out we see that we're left with a minus 4n over j and i'm going to set you up here this is times one for a reason minus three so after we dump in the negative sign the blue negative sign into this term and that term and we realize that the green term we had a leftover two here from the factorization so we can leave that alone for now pretty much always we see here that splitting up the four and a two times two and then the one looks like j plus one half over j plus one half we can form a common denominator between this n and j term and this n and j term so we're setting ourselves up for great success okay clearly the minus sign here and here make a positive sign there so we can now push that to the front a-okay and from that we can see clearly that what's highlighted in purple we can factor that out now that's the whole point of setting us up in an algebraic manner and once we factor that out we can clean up what's inside the leftover blue in this green term and simplify once again to something that's actually pretty reasonable okay so factoring out that purple term we get a 2n j over j times j plus one half and this is everything that's left over clearly we need to distribute this negative two into this j plus one half term and then when we do so we see that we just end up with a negative two j minus one and plus one so fantastically enough they cancel and then we see here that after those two cancel this lonely j cancels with that j and we get something that's actually pretty darn cool we get a cancellation of j's so then the total uh fine structure correction for the first order is equal to en squared over 2mc squared times 3 minus 4n over j plus 1 half again the minus comes from this negative 2 and then the 2 times 2 gives us the 4 so we're good to go for the plus sign now the negative sign of this will take a little more time so we have to be a little tedious in the uh, simplification with the algebra but none of this is brain split none of this is brain splittingly hard we just have to actually do it So that leads us to stop number two and we see here 
that if we invoke the negative sign, again, we have a minus sign here, so we have to add that over to the J side to isolate L in order to substitute in. And let me remind you, this again is the first order corrections. So now that we've seen something like this before, we can kind of speed run through it. Again, using equation 7.56 for the relativistic case, and we plug it in J plus one half, we see that we simplify not as much as we may have liked, but we get a J plus one now instead of a J. So remember that contrast. Here, we have to be a little more careful yet again because it's a plus, not a minus, so we're not gonna have terms canceling like we did before. So if we're plugging everything into the spin orbit uh, equation of 7.67, we see all the purple is our substitution, so we're good to go. We see that this one half and one gives us three halves. One half, one half gives us one. One half and one gives us three halves. Okay, not too bad on the initial simplification, but getting rid and factoring, that's gonna take us some time. So let's dive in. All right, so after that, we distribute this middle term here. Okay, so we got quite a lot to simplify down. We, when we distribute, we get a three halves j and then plus one half j, one half times three halves. So we're gonna have to be careful with this intermediate stuff. Okay, because remember last time we just ended up with a j plus one half and a minus j one half and that just canceled, but here they're joining together. Three halves plus one half gives us two. And then we have one half times three halves gives us three fourths, good to go there. Nothing in the denominator changes yet, so we'll leave that alone. And then here, once we dump in the negative sign, this to that term, that term, and that term, we see here that we get a, quite a bit of canceling behavior. Okay, j squared here from this uh, j times j plus one term cancels with our negative j squared, cool plus j cancels with one of the two j's that we had here. So we can actually simplify pretty nice. And then of course you have minus three fourths, minus three fourths. So let's clean that up and see what we have. All right. So then what we're left with up top is just one j, of course, with the minus sign. And then if we have two of the three fourths, that simplifies to three halves, minus of course. And then the denominator does not change, but here if we factor out a negative, we see that we get a j plus three uh, halves, so that cancels with one of the denominator terms. That's gonna make our lives much easier. So cancel, cancel, then we see that we simplify here, a-okay, and we'll just bring the negative out front, save ourselves some simplify, uh, simplifying later. Okay, now we're ready to see what the fine structure is. Again, first order and we add the relativistic correction with the spin orbit coupling correction and we see that once again we have to do this two by two uh, multiplication which looks like a multiplying by one so we can factor out this beast of uh, energy term out front okay so again we've seen this landscape not too bad just a lot of algebra to keep track of so factor out all of it and this term we're going to factor out a negative two and that leads us with a four in over j plus one times one. Again, the red tells you you're setting up for something. Minus three, we don't distribute the negative like we did last time. Then we have two in over j plus one half and then times j plus one. Note in here that we have a j plus one on this term, a j plus one here. So we're gonna need to turn this one into a j plus one half over j plus one half in order to find a common denominator. So that's what we do here. And then of course we split that four up into two and two, that way we can factor out everything that looks common. When we simplify this down after we split up the four and make the one look like a fraction for common denominator, we see that our common parts are two in and the denominators. Okay, so let's factor that junk out now and simplify what's remaining. Now in this step, I just went ahead and distributed this two, Let's circle it. I just distributed this two into that term and that term, which leads to a two J and a one here. And as we see, we get a conjoining of one and one instead of a canceling like last time. But that's okay, because once we factor out the two, 
we see that we factor out a 2, we're left with a j plus 1. And sure enough, that cancels with something in the denominator. So we get rid of that j plus 1, j plus 1. Good to go. And now we're left with, of course, remember our initial thing was that we factor the negative out front. Okay. So what we're left with inside is negative 3 plus 4n over j plus 1 half. Okay. Because 2 times 2 gives us back our 4. A-OK -okay there. And then we see after that, that we end up with n squared, uh, en squared over 2mc. Now we dump the negative inside, so we get a plus 3 and a minus on a 4n over j plus 1 half. And sure enough, that is the same fine structure energy correction for whatever side you want. That's pretty darn cool that you could treat these separately and get the same things. Although what we see in the minus case is that we have to do a little more, uh, you know, fractional work. Well, that's okay. It's still not as bad as everything else we've seen. But that's pretty darn cool that you can summarize those conditions. Now remember that all these things are going to play into an effect with the Hun's rules, all the selection rules, this, that, and a third. It will come back. We have to be careful of that. Okay, so not much of a challenging question in so much as the formal theory, but a lot of algebra here that we were thankful to clean up quite nicely. So not too much to summarize here. Just be careful simplifying. Algebra does tend to give us the most headache after we do so much mental gymnastics, setting up the proper systems and theories. So be aware, not that bad, but... That was kind of fun, and I love to see how these corrections are starting to impact how dense the theory is, because you might have already seen the stuff before, but all these corrections, who in the world would have thought of that? Like, the fact that the electron needed it relativistic because it's a particle, you know, and then spin-orbit coupling, well, of course, the addition of angular momentum needs to be there, although there's still one other thing that we need to encounter, and that'll come soon, very soon. But the whole thing together, wow, that is a crazy, crazy theory. So with that, I want to say thank you to all the supporters of this channel. You make this possible. And, you know, I am very glad to see that the community is starting to uh, communicate more and that we're starting to have open conversations because this stuff, it's cool. We should talk about it more, especially with how crazy the world is right now. Science will always be there and it always gives you some kind of logical backing when other humans may not be logical. So definitely cool to see there. Books, notes, and other reference materials are found below. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. And as always, thank you for watching. Until next time, stay curious.